Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazeas here from The Automator, and today we got a really cool script. A lot of you are switching to V2, which is a, it's a really good idea because V1's deprecated. And unfortunately, when you go to use Site for AutoHotKey, the 3.1 version, some people have some problems and conflicts and stuff, and it just doesn't work properly. So we wrote a little program to help kind of standard, as I said, for you. We also added some custom user profile settings that will help Site be a little bit more enjoyable, and a little more customized to you. So stick around at the end and make sure you see those things to see if you want them or not. By the way, we're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We do two videos a week at least, besides our other videos where we're training people uh, in our auto hockey hero group, which we do right. three hours a week on that. Uh, those aren't streamed to YouTube, but uh, anyway, check that out if you're interested. Now, let's go ahead and jump in here, Isaiah. Why don't you show us right. what the script does? So the script, as soon as you double click, what it's going to uh, ask you is to have uh, admin rights because it's going to install certain things. So the, it's going to ask you if AutoHotKey v2 is installed or not. You can say yes or no to that. If it is installed, if it is already installed, just click yes, and it will not download the latest version. And now when I hit yes, because I have it, now it's going to ask me if Cypher AutoHotKey 3.1 is installed. Now, this only works with 3.1 uh, you know, later because that's the version that already allows you to select V2. So you have to have that one. If you have it, click yes. If not, just say no, and it's going to download it for you. In my case, I have it. So I'm going to hit yes. And now it's going to ask you for the paths of them. Usually it's going to be very good at determining where they are. If the paths does, do not look right to you, just go ahead and click on browse and select where they are located. In my case, auto hotkey V2 is here. I select the folder. That's it. And, you know, the same for site. Once these two guys are correct, you hit on fix. And what it's going to do is that it's going to fix the site properties. That's the user properties. And also it's going to fix uh, the some issues that people had when switching platforms. Now, as we are changing those files, it is telling you that the old properties were saved as platforms.backup. So in, in any case, if you want to go back to your original platforms file, which I really doubt, you still have a copy of it anyways. And now the script is going to exit and it's done. What it's going to look like if I open site is that you're going to get a few different things. Here at the bottom, your status bar is going to look different. Whenever you select some text, it's going to be highlighted in a specific way. So every everywhere where you find the same text is going to be highlighted for you. And some other little details like at the top of the title bar. So the title of the window is going to contain the full path of the file that is opened right now because the original site does not have any of those little details set up like that. Let's, so they let's get open the really user annoying. properties file to show them real quickly. Yes. Option yeah. user properties here. Right. And this is extracted from my, I have a crazy long big file. Is Ace and I went through it and said, well, what, what would most people want and what's most helpful? So we, right. it's mostly annotated also. So it helps you understand. And if you just want, don't want a certain feature, put the pound sign in front of that line and it'll comment it out. Save it. Most of them are hot fixes. So the second you do it, it'll apply. Sometimes you have to restart site, but it's really rare. Usually they're they're updated immediately. That is correct. So in any case, um, all of these things, uh, there is kind of like a menu that uh, you created. Is Oh, well, the shortcuts. You created a few shortcuts there for copy pasting and getting the help and so on. Yeah, but, and the context menu. So if you write- right, This is the menu. one. Yeah, that's yeah. the one that I was trying to get. This, yes. this section down here uh, is not on the original right. site. So right. we added a few things like copy the path to this file, um, showing the white space, the end of lines, stuff like that, that were not in the original context so menu. So we made it. If so you selected a bunch of text, it's really cool. You can go, you could say copy as RTF. When you paste that, like in your email, it keeps the color, you know, right. code. Yeah, so when okay. you're emailing stuff to people, it has those colors and it's just, it looks so much nicer and easier to follow. You don't lose that this was a comment and this was real code, right? That like, is correct. That is correct. So in any case, this is the only thing that the script does is just to help you um, having those things and well, uh, having those little details. Like for example, usually when you close the last tab, site right. closes completely. We're like, why? Just yeah. leave me with an untitled 
file there. And those kind of little details that usually are really annoying, uh, but now we just fix them. And especially here, show them because we didn't, ha we, ours is fixed, but yeah, that properties of the, yeah. the, the platforms. platforms. Right. right. This is where yeah. you switch between one platform and another. So there are specific conditions for site to allow you to switch these guys. The condition is that site must be installed on the same folder where AutoHotKey was installed. So whenever you do the installation, make sure that, for example, if you have AutoHotKey folder here where AutoHotKey is installed, that's where you're going to install site. If you don't do it that way, what is going to happen is that when you click here, you will not get any of these options. You will only get the default one. So if you see it like that, just make sure that, you know, site is not in the correct location. Now, that's part of what this script fixes. Even if you have it in a different location, what the script does is that it gathers where AutoHotKey is installed, and it's going to try to fix those paths in the property files for you. But I really recommend that you just install site where AutoHotKey is just to not have that one problem. So hopefully that helped. We'll put a URL up here for where you can download this script. If this helped you out and you liked it, please like the video. It really helps us out a lot. Again, so consider subscribing to us. We're the largest auto hockey channel. We're constantly pushing out great things to help people. Hope you enjoyed that. And guys, have a great day. Cheers. Bye.